project is going to be a relatively quick one, but in this video, I am going to teach you how to make one of these stylish guitar hooks. Making these hooks requires minimal materials, and it only takes about an hour to put one together. So basically, if you can't tell what's going on here, what I did was I cut a 4x4 four four inch square out of the plywood, and then those arrows on the sides are indicating the holes where the supports for the guitar hold it in. Those are three quarters of an inch in from the sides. The one thing not featured in this picture is the mounting holes that I forgot to draw in the picture, but I will feature them later, so don't forget. several things. One very important thing is this drill bit. It's got a really pointy end so it starts the hole and then the two sides come in a little later to make the hole larger. So the middle gets to the bottom before the sides do. You want to stop drilling right when the point comes to the other side just so you leave a small hole because that's where we're going to put the screws through to hold in the dowels. The next thing I'm going to do is purely for looks, but I did it on the last one and it looked pretty good, so I'll do it on this one too. What I'm talking about right now is the beveled edge right here. Just gives it a good look. Here's how it turned out in this new one. This one has, is a lot more jagged and this one is more has more soft edges. So you can do it either way, but I like to at least put a little bit of a bevel. Just make a line a quarter inch in on every side. This will be the line that we stop at. we've got a border all the way around so now I'm gonna go get out like a grinder or something maybe just you just shave off the that quarter inch around the outside and just smooth it down however much you want you can have hard lines or soft lines but it just gives it a nice look so I know this isn't what this tool is supposed to be used for but it works so this is how I'm going to use it. Ooh. The grinder that I used left my edges a little rough, which is okay for some people, but I'm a perfectionist, so that just wasn't gonna fly. So I used a sanding block to get the edges nice and smooth. And I really I really smoothed them down a lot. You could do a little less sanding than I did, but I tried to get all of the black scorch marks off using the sander just to get that really smooth line. Okay, the next step in the project is to cut the dowel. And I need two chunks that are just over three inches. The three inches sticks out, and then the little extra bit is to accommodate for this, this space right here. And so, I drilled in about a quarter of an inch right here. So, we're just over a quarter of an inch, so it's uh, three inches, and then just over a quarter of an inch. And then to the Make it twice, cut once. So 
I've returned from using the saw and I worked kind of quickly so I got a bit of this hairy stuff here so I need to sand that off. All of this is going to get covered with fake leather so I'm not really worried about being scratched up. Tightened it into my vise with some uh, paper towel around it so that it won't uh, so that I already sanded it. So I put some paper towel around it so I didn't scratch it. I'm going to try to find the center of the furniture in this thing. The more centered this is, the better. Time to apply the wood stain. I have this stuff right here. This is what I'm going to use to stain it. I could use paint instead too. Uh, I almost used paint, but my other one is stained, so I decided to stain this one too. drill a shallow hole above the original screw hole that came from the back so that any screw that I put in could sink flush and we'd be able to mount directly onto the wall without sticking out. Now this is the part that I forgot about earlier that I should have done before staining, but whatever. So this is making the mounting holes. First I taped off the back so it wouldn't splinter through the nice sanded stain part. And then I just simply drilled some holes about an inch in, in the middle of both sides. I should have done all this before staining, but oh well. So now we'll peel up the stuff. Now it looks like it helped on this side, but on this side it might not have helped everything. Oh, I guess it did help. There's a little bit of chips in there, but that'll get covered up by the screw. screws that will drive into the wall can sink in flush. Alright, so the next and last step in this project before mounting this onto the wall is to wrap these with the fake leather. It looks something like that. So, uh, what I'm actually going to use for this is contact cement. first part that I'm going to uh, do is these pins. If you wanted to, you could just paint them with some acrylic paint, 
I'm gonna at least give it a try to give you the big letter. So, I'm gonna get a piece of dowel that I didn't use and trace it off onto here. Pencil doesn't show up very well. time to glue it on. Now this stuff is very toxic, so I'm going to have a well ventilated area and have a mask on. I'm try to get full coverage on that old piece right there. And then you need it to sit for about 10 minutes. And then I'm going to put some on here to you can tilt it a little bit so it doesn't get on the stain. I'm going to come back in about 10 minutes to attach this up together. So in the meantime, I'm going to put the lid back on so it doesn't stink up my basement. It hasn't been quite 10 minutes yet, but that shouldn't matter. It should still glue fine. Apply some pressure and get it centered on there. gonna start carefully sticking it on and now when you do this you want to be paying very close attention because there's no going back and also you want to start gluing on whatever side is going to be the bottom so that it won't have like an ugly seam that will eventually uh, tear up after a while of putting a guitar on it Everything lined up. Get everything just came up and around together like that.
Okay, I have moved to the corner of my room where I'm going to mount the guitar hook. That's the one that I made several months ago for that electric guitar. But I have a new guitar, so I'm gonna make another one to put right here. Let's do it. This thing securely on the wall, there are several important tools. First off, the measuring tape. One that it makes this a lot easier, a stud finder. Now, when, when building a house, every stud is put 16 inches apart. So that means that there's going to be another stud somewhere over here. That's where we're going to uh, drill the screws. So as you can see right here, this is where it hits the middle of the stud. So that means that somewhere over here, right there, here comes the level. So we do it first. We don't know how to use a level. There's a little bubble of water, or a little bubble of air in the water, in this tube of water here. And you have to center it between those two lines so that you know that the surface you are measuring is level. I took the level and I lined it up with my old hanger, making sure that the bubble is still in the middle. And then I made a line. Under that line, we just made about 16 inches away from this. I'm going to start the first screw just a little bit. Now that I think about it, I want a little bit of a reference for the simple so I'm going to just this line down. actually use some high level holes too. I didn't think of that. This project went well and it was definitely there was definitely some uh, improvement over my last one from several months ago. I see a lot of similarities and improvements. The only thing left to do is to put them to use. I hope that somebody found this video entertaining or helpful. But that's it for today. If you have any ideas for more projects you would like to see, feel free to leave them in the comments down below.